Hi everyone, it's Eva Pietrzak here from Abundant Results Coaching and today I'd love to talk to you about a very important topic that can literally bring your business to another level without working harder, just shifting that mindset principle and namely to embrace fear and treat it as part of your growth. Have you ever been stopped by fear or discomfort from doing what's right in your business? You've been contemplating new strategy. Maybe you've been doing most of your business offline and now you want to do regular Facebook Lives, webinars. Maybe you want to move away from prospecting to attraction marketing and you need to start putting yourself out there and your results. And you really feel that the strategy is right and it can help you earn more and maybe even work less, but you're petrified. Well, I hear you because what I've done lately <laughs> like, is truly very different to what I used to do at the start of my business. So just two weeks ago or a week ago, I'm not quite sure, I shared my, uh, my income. I had 85,000 income in 85,000 euros in June and I shared that publicly in our closed, in our Six Figures uh, Entrepreneur Facebook group where there is a lot of people watching what I do and looking for my results. And the outcome of this was that I immediately had tons of people inquiring about my service, just me sharing my results. But what you want to do, what you want to know is that me sharing those results was really petrifying to me. I literally was like, ah, paralyzed inside because all the thoughts in my mind were creeping in. You don't, uh, you don't talk about your income. You know, what do people think of you? Uh, what if like everybody is going to turn their backs on you? All of that was going through my mind. But because I understand fear and I understand every time I'm doing something new in my business that feels right, um, I'm going to be afraid I am capable to embrace that. I remember when I started my business, you know, the first business activity that I had to do was to call people and schedule meetings. I mean, when I was trained by Bob Proctor the first time, he said, what you do to grow your business is to write out a list of 100 people that you know and they know you and you respect them and they respect you and you start calling them and meeting them for coffee and present what you can do for them with your business, with your coaching. And I remember when I picked up the phone first time, I was literally shaking. I was paralyzed with fear. And because I was doing the mindset work with Bob, I was able to overcome it and within 20 days calling people, having meetings and bringing one client on board was my habit. And that's how I replaced my corporate income with my business within just six months part time, evenings and weekends. But then I reached a point in my business where I wanted to go much higher. So I managed to reach about 3,000 net per month with hard work and determination and these one-on-ones and reaching out to people and going to networking events and doing live events and all that stuff, I reached that level of about 3,000 net per month. But I wanted more. I mean, my goal at that time was 10,000 per month. It looked very attractive and I wanted to go to that next level to be able to have a better lifestyle, to give more, to be more, to do more. But I also didn't want to do that at the cost of working harder. I mean, I was quite overworked at that time. In fact, I started getting sick because, you know, when I wanted to perform and keep up my results and maybe I had a holiday in a month, then, you know, <laughs> what started happening after some of the flights, I started getting like uh, laryngitis or losing my voice. And then I would come back because of the air conditioning. I would come back and I would spend one week recovering. And then I had two weeks to perform the amount of activity I used to do over the whole month within this period of two weeks. So my body was crashing. And there was a period of six months where I was getting sick over and over. And at that point, I realized that my old business model is not working. I need to do something very different. 
And then what I realized is all the new strategies that I had to implement were highly uncomfortable. And so I turned from prospecting to creating a lot more attraction marketing, which means that I'm doing more brave posts and Facebook lives, which are sharing my results, uh, sharing my client results, uh, sharing my lifestyle, and I'm inviting people my way. You know, just two days ago, I had an inspiring post idea where I simply talked about um, uh, people thinking that they don't have the money, which is never the truth. Uh, we sometimes don't have the willingness to get it, but the money is always there. Um, and I also just disclosed my pricing and I disclosed and I just invited several people on board and I had three clients, sorry, no, at this point it's already four who enrolled just like that. They just came to me rather than me going after and doing one-to-ones and God knows what. And so my growth I remember that time when my body was crashing and I was on that 3,000 level per month. My growth from that, which was about 50,000 per year, 50,000 gross to 50,000 per month within just two years, was simply identifying all the things that I was afraid to do and, um, and start doing them and make them habitual. All the things, like there was a whole overhaul of my strategy in terms of my mindset, in terms of my system of operating. And it was scary. But you know what? By the time I was earning 50000 per month, within two years after, I was having more time for me, more time to go away on a holiday, more time to, you know... Um, to go to the park, to go get my hair done, my nails done, massage. And it and I just started living and you know and the business is growing, the income is growing, my clients are having phenomenal results and I'm having more work life balance and more income. Now, if I spoke to my, you know, 3000 per month self and I was sharing this with her, she would just not believe that it's possible to do that, but it is possible. So maybe you're at the level where you've just stepped into your business or you left working for someone else and you started a business or maybe, you know, you've already reached that 3000 or whatever and you're doing a lot of tasks and activities and working hard. You want to go to 10K per month or more. You want to have more freedom of time for your loved ones, but you just don't know how. Well, I want to share this with you. Fear and like taming your fear, making it harmless to you and punching through it and doing what's right is part of your work. You've got to identify mindset changes, habit changes, and a new business model that will get you to that 10K per month or more. And if that's what you want, then I want to invite you to a special webinar that I'm doing this Wednesday, 22nd of July. It's for those of you who want to bring your business to another level. So if you've already stepped out, you may still be one foot in corporate or one foot out or fully in the business and you feel like you want to go to that next level, but you just don't know how to do this. It's like you feel like any idea that, that's coming to you is just working harder and doing more of the same. And I promise you, this is the last thing you want to be doing. You need a better model and you need different thinking. And that's exactly what I will be sharing uh, in the webinar this Wednesday. What I did to move from three from 50,000 per year to 50,000 per month in my business and having more work-life balance. And trust me, it's not about working harder. It's just about shifting your habits, which is uncomfortable, but this is what I will be sharing with you, how to make it comfortable, how to be okay with all of that. So I hope this excites you. And if you are an entrepreneur and you want to go to that next level, then I would love to see you at our masterclass because this information can truly transform your life. So thank you so much for watching. I hope it gives you some food for thought around embracing fear and also encourages you to join me this Wednesday for a lot more on this topic. Thank you so much. Have a good day.